Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. your holy name. We ask, Lord, that you will move in the midst of this service on today. Touch the ears of the hearers, cause them to hear the word of God. Oh, God, to receive it, oh God, and have a made up mind to declare and to do the will of God. We ask you now in Jesus' name, have your way. Amen. At this time, we're coming before you from Solid Rock Apostolic Faith Church. I am Pastor Barbara Abraham. Amen. And we're bringing before you our praise and worship team. Amen. Come on and let's glorify the Lord together with them. Oh 
up. You're all I want. You're all I need. Help me know you are near. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to praise him right there. Somebody ought to praise him right there. name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we truly love the Lord on today. Amen, amen. Get your Bible, if you will. Get your Bibles. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your grace, and your strength, your power. We ask you let your glory be revealed on today. Oh, God, anoint this vessel as you shall see fit. Glorify thy name. Magnify thy name. Oh, God, use me. Oh, God, that you may destroy your top. Oh, God, that you will. Oh, God, let the captives go free. That you may heal. Oh, God, that you may deliver. Give sight to the blind. Cause the lame to walk the dust the top. Unstop their fears. In Jesus' name, be glorified. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I praise you. I exalt you right now. Amen. I'm going to the book of Psalms. The book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 27. Psalms chapter 27, verse 13 and 14. <clears throat> Psalms chapter 27 verse 13 and 14 and the Bible says I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living wait on the Lord be a good carry and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Now I'm going to just go ahead and read those two verses again. The Bible said, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait, on the Lord, be of good carriage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. Go with me to that 14th verse. Amen. Those of you that can read it together, let's read it together. Wait, on the Lord, be of good carriage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. Look at somebody. If you can, tell them, wait on him. Wait, wait on him. Tell them again, wait on him. Wait on him. Hallelujah. Wait on him. Don't, don't go anywhere, but wait on him. One of the main problems that a lot of us have is now is we have a problem with waiting. Right. And I, especially in today, uh, I realize that most people in uh, mind don't want to wait. Uh, in mind, they don't want to wait. Uh, in mind, for you to pull up. Uh, in mind, when the light changes, they want you to automatically. Uh, Start driving. If I don't wait and look to see if, I, if somebody's going to go through that other light, they want you to just move. Get out of their way. They are not patient and therefore they do not want to wait. And I 
life. Amen. When you are a young person, amen, a lot of our young people can't wait till they get 16 years old. They say they call that sweet 16. Amen. And then there's others that say, I cannot wait till I turn 18. And then there are some others that say, I cannot wait till I turn 21. Because I know when I get 18 and 21, I'm going to be grown. And they think they're going to call their own shots and do what they want to do. So they can't wait. Amen. Hallelujah. They can't wait. Amen. Sometimes uh, people are looking for jobs. And amen. They want to hurry up and get the next job or get that next promotion uh, that they're willing to run over top of other people. Uh, amen. They should be next. Uh, they'll do whatever they think they can do uh, to get that other position because uh, they don't want to wait. Uh, but I come to tell you today, uh, whether you want to wait or not, uh, there are some things in life uh, that you're not going to get uh, unless you wait. Uh, sometimes there's a force wait. Uh, Sometimes there's a self-implied way, huh? but whatever the way is, huh? you're going to have to wait huh? at some point in time huh? in your life huh? for something. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Amen. Sometimes huh, if you're catching the bus, huh? amen, you're watching, you watch. Huh? Lord, have mercy, huh? And depending upon the elements sometimes, huh? If it's cold outside, huh? Amen, you really don't want to wait long, huh? Amen, for the bus to come, huh? Amen, because, huh? It means that your body, huh? Has to feel the temperature, huh? Of the cold that's outside, huh? And though you already know, huh? That the bus is coming, huh? You want it to come on and get here in a hurry, huh? Amen. And the bus, huh? It has a schedule, huh? But sometimes the bus driver, huh? Get off the schedule, huh? And it might arrive early, huh? Or it might not arrive on time, huh? And you get upset, huh? Saying the bus should have been here by now, huh? What are you saying, huh? I don't want to wait, huh? Any longer, huh? I want that bus, huh? To get here, huh? It's cold outside, huh? My body is cold, huh? My teeth are chattering, huh? My eyes are running, huh? My hands are hurting, huh? My feet are hurting, huh? Feel like I'm getting frostbite, huh? I don't want to wait. Hallelujah. Waiting is not something we like to do. I've been on the highway and have been in some backups. And there were some people that were so persistent that not that they only not want to wait, but they were not going to wait. And they proved it by going on the side of the road where you're not supposed to drive. And they drove on the side of the road. In other words, they were saying, I don't want to wait for the traffic to move. Amen. I don't want to wait. And if it means me going contrary to the law, then I'm going to do contrary to the law. Because I don't want to wait. Well, I come to say to all of us that sometimes if you refuse to wait, you're going to bring detriment to your own situation. You see, nobody is really expecting them to be on the side of the road. And therefore, it can cause another accident because nobody was expecting them to come from that direction. And yeah. sometimes we try to force things to happen in our lives before the time. And if it's not in the right time, it can mess the whole situation up. Amen. 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 We want our children to grow up and be able to have a car and to drive a car. But if you give your child the key when they're six years old because you're out of mind that I want this child to drive one day, put the child. 
for a lot of people. Most of us don't want to wait. Some people rush their development in the Lord. Well, you really can't rush it, but they, they in a rush mode. I want to be up here, and I want to be here right now. Yeah. But they don't understand all it takes to get on the level of up here. And they just want to be there, but they don't understand if they get there, they will not long stay there because they won't handle there, and they'll be back down there not long. Yeah. You just have to wait. That's right. And I... Our children, a lot of times when they're young, when they're about two or three years old, if they know that there's some candy, if they know that there was a cake after the meal, they'll start asking you for the candy, or they start asking you for the cake. Mommy, can I have a piece of that cake? Daddy, can I get that cake? Can I get some candy? And what we tell them is, wait. Amen. You have to eat your food first. Oh, Lord, have mercy. See, that's the same way with some of us and God. We want the dessert right now, but God said, no, I got to give you the food. I got to give you the nutrition before I give you the treat, before I give you the gravy, before I give uh, you the dessert. I need you to eat, so you're going to have to wait. I'm more concerned about your nourishment uh, so that you can develop properly than I am about giving you some dessert. Huh? Uh, I know you want everything to be happy right now. And I know that you want everything to just be holly, holly, holly right now. And I, I know you just want the red carpet rolled out right now. But I need you to just wait. I'm going to give you all of that. But I need you to wait right now. And I, the time is coming, but you ain't ready for it yet. Hallelujah. Yes. And some people, they want to hurry up and get out of school. And unfortunately, because of time, it's taking so long. It's taking some amount of years. They say, well, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to quit. Uh, well, quitting is the wrong answer. Uh, it is not a resolution to your situation. Uh, the resolution to your situation is to wait. Uh, and I, I tell you, finish school. Uh, get through the years. Uh, you're going to get where you want to go, but you really can't get in a You're going to have to wait. Hallelujah. And we already know that our young ladies, our children, our girls, when they're growing up, we buy them little dolls. Huh? Amen. We buy them Barbie. Huh? Amen. And we buy little kids to go along with Barbie. Huh? Amen. And our little girls got their teapots. Hey. Amen. They got their little cups and their little saucers. Huh? Amen. What they're, what's being done huh? is preparing them huh? to one day get married to somebody. Huh? Amen. And it just brings in them. Huh? And they say, Mama, one day huh? I want to get 
lips look cute, nice little shape, but God is still saying to you, wait, she's not the one. She's not the one just because everybody else got their eyes on her. She's not the one. Because it's really not the outside that determines who the person is. And you can have the outside, but the inside is corrupt. And you're going to wish you never had the outside when you see the inside. You got to wait. I advise you to wait. One of the things about my children, I never rushed them into hurrying up and to get married. Now that you get older, I said, oh yeah, you need to be considering that. Amen. My son is here today, and he know I'll be on him a little bit more now because he's getting older. Amen. And yes, I do want some more grandchildren. I want some out of him. I ain't got none out of him yet. I got grandchildren from all my other children, but I don't want none unless he married. Amen. Don't give me no grandchildren if you're not married to them. I don't want the grandchildren. I want them now to do it, you know. I want them, but I don't want them. I don't want nobody to misconstrue what I'm saying. I want them, even if you go the wrong way. But I didn't want it to be done like that. Wait. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I love all my grandkids. Nice. Don't get that twisted. I love all my grandkids. Hallelujah. Amen. But God is saying that we have to wait on him. Uh-huh. We got to wait on him. Yeah. All right? Because you can't have it, God. Amen. What about all the saints used to sing that has gone on to be with the Lord? She said, oh, no, you just have to wait. Yeah. You have to wait on him no matter how long it takes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. See, the time is coming. You don't have to worry that he will be there in a heaven. But you got to wait on him. See, whenever God gets there, it's going to be the right time. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. It's going to be the right time. And see, the thing about it is, you, 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 the, the Bible said, I had fainted. I would have, I would have fainted. I would have thrown in the towel. I would have given up. I, I, I would have said, just forget it. I, I would have just said, you know, ain't no use. I would have said, well, God's not going to do it. I, I would have said, it's not possible. I would have said, it's not going to come my way. See, the devil is coming out. They got to rob, to steal, uh, to destroy, and to kill. Uh, some things you can want in your life. Uh, the devil has done some other things uh, to make you second guess uh, what you said you wanted. Uh, to make you think uh, that God is not evil uh, to do exceedingly uh, and abundantly uh, above uh, anything you ask uh, or even think. Uh, but the devil uh, is a liar. Uh, keep your mind uh, on what you want it. Uh, but what you want, uh, God still has it. Uh, if he don't have it, uh, he'll make it. Oh, your eyes off of other things because huh? the devil trying to make you doubt right now huh? and give up huh? on some things that God has already promised you huh? and it's meant for you to have huh? making you think oh no huh? it's not going to go right huh? but the devil is a liar huh? it's going to go like God wanted to go huh? oh yes huh? you're going to have that happiness huh? you're going to have that joy huh? you're going to have that peace huh? you're going to have that home huh? you're going to have that right husband huh? you're going to have that right wife huh? trying to help somebody. Because the devil trying to make you give up on some stuff. Huh? Give up on hopes. Huh? Give up on dreams. Huh? But as long as God is still God, huh? he going to be God. He got it waiting on you. He got it waiting on you. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, yes, he does. He got it waiting on you. My God, my God. He got it waiting on you. Oh, my God. Say, I had faith, I would have done it. I, I would have gave up on my dreams. I would have gave up on my hopes. I would have said it's no use. I would have said it's no matter. I would have said it. But the reason why I couldn't say it, unless I had to leave to see the goodness of it all, that's the only way that I won't give up. The only way I won't give in. The only way I won't doubt that things are going to get better. See the 
Can somebody say no limits? No, no limits. limits. See, we all understand who we dealing with. We dealing with somebody that is inexhaustible. Whatever you want, not just whatever you need, but whatever you want, he has it. There is no limit to God. Uh-huh. You know, somebody may say, well, you know what? I got a million dollars, so I'm a millionaire. They're a millionaire. That's all he is. They can't give you a billion because they only have a million. Ooh. And somebody might say, well, I can give you a billion because I'm a billionaire. Amen. But they can't give you a trillion because they only have a billion. But when it comes to God, he's inexhaustible. Oh, no, he's not a millionaire. He's not a billionaire. He's not a trillionaire. He's whatever. Nah, 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 To infinity. Yes. So he has everything. He has no limitation. So that's why he was saying, that's why he was able to say that I'm able to do exceedingly and abundantly above anything you ask me and that you can even come up with. I'm able to do it, but I'm going to have you to just wait on me because I'm coming to give it to you, but you're going to have to wait. You got to learn how to wait, and when you wait, don't matter, don't complain. Wait in patience because I want to be glad to bless you. Sometimes when you start murmuring and complaining, I, God stops in his tracks and I was on my way. Yes. I was on my way. Oh, my angel that I was sending with your package. They was on their way, but as soon as you started complaining, they stopped. Yes. It's like, what? My God. I can't go nowhere because they stopped praising. Mm. They stopped magnifying. They stopped glorifying. They stopped exalting God. And so I can't go no further. I got I got to wait. See, 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 the sign for me to move is praise and worship and adoration yes. toward God. That that tells me to move. But, Amen. You know, you know, you know how you know how they have those remote um, cars and things like that. I bought one for my my um, grandson. Uh, amen. And you got the battery in the remote car. Huh? I mean, the remote control. Uh, amen. And you got the car down on the floor. Huh? Amen. And whatever you uh, whatever you push the button huh, on the remote control, uh, it will tell the car to do what you told the remote control. Huh? Amen. When you push Push it up, and then the car is going to go up because it's being controlled by the remote control. Huh? Well, I'm telling you, huh, you got a remote control right in your mouth. Huh? It's called praise. Huh? Amen. And if you want God huh, to move huh, and want the angels to move huh, amen, to do what you want done, huh, then you got to move huh, the remote control. Huh? And you're going to move it huh, every time you say hallelujah. Huh? When you say hallelujah, Huh? The blessings start coming toward you. Huh? When you say thank you, Jesus, huh? the blessings start coming toward you. Huh? When you say I bless him, huh? the blessings start coming toward you. Huh? Oh my God. Huh? Now listen here. Huh? If you want your blessing to go further away from you, huh? start murmuring. Huh? Start complaining. Huh? It's either going to halt huh? or it's going to start backing up. Huh? See, that remote huh? can come back with you. Huh? And you push it back. Harder, huh? Ah, huh. you need to glorify him a little bit more. Huh? 
oh my God, ha, from the uprising to your down setting, ha, when you get up, your hands ought to go up, ha, Lord, I just want to thank you, ha, I just want to bless you, ha, I just want to glorify you, ha, Lord, have mercy, ha, and when it's telling, ha, the aim you to do, ha, is to go this way, ha, cause something black in you there, ha, go over here, ha, move to the side, ha, and go around it, ha, move to the side, ha, and go around it, ha, come on now, ha, cause I'm waiting, ha, for my blessing. Wait on them. You gotta wait on them. Uh huh. Wait on the Lord. He said, "Listen, and the be of good courage." Sometimes you gotta encourage yourself because everybody else is down right about now at that time. Sometimes everybody is down. And the Lord said, honey, if you're going to have courage, you're going to have to take courage. You're going to have to encourage yourself. Yes, everybody's situation is down. Everybody's going through. Everybody got tests. Everybody got trials. Everybody has some tribulation. Uh, amen. And everybody not looking to the hills uh, from what's coming to their help. Uh, but you got it on the inside. Uh, turn your face uh, toward God. Yeah. Time you got to do like David did in Ziggler. They found out they lost everything. Yeah. And sometimes you lose just about everything. You might lose everything, but you ain't lose your mind and you ain't lose your God, so you still have it all. I know that's right. Ah, Lord, have mercy. I'm going to say it again. Yes. I said you may have lost everything or just about everything, but you didn't lose your mind and you didn't lose your God, so you have everything. Yeah. When you lose God, you don't have nothing. That's when you don't have nothing. But as long as you have God, you have everything. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. He said, be of good courage. I don't, I don't just want you to have courage, but I want you to be of good courage. I want you to be of good courage. You hear me? Courage, strength in the face of pain or grief. Courage said, I still can make it. Courage said, I'm going to be okay. Carrie said, I can climb this mountain. Right, that's right. If God don't move it, I can climb it. Yeah. Not only can I climb it, but I can conquer it. Yeah. That's what Carrie said. Carrie says, I got the victory. Huh? I'm not waiting for it, but I already had it. Huh? That's Carrie's be of good courage. Get excited about the thing. Be of good courage and be happy. Get inspired. Oh, when everybody else has said, I don't care to see it. I don't know how. I don't know how we're going to survive it. I don't know how we're going to come out. You say, I know how. You say, I know how. Wait. Because I expect to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That's right. I expect to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The crop done dried up. I know the God that's able to give life back to the crop. I expect to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And people say, well, you might as well just put the devil is alive. I expect to see the goodness of the Lord in my life. Yes. That's what you ought to be saying. I expect to see the goodness of the Lord demonstrated in my life. I refuse to lay down and give the devil the victory. I shall not die, but I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. You got to tell the devil, tell your enemy, tell yourself. Oh, shout out to declare the words. I, I, I got I to gotta live so I can testify. I got to live so they can see God. I, I got to live so they can see what God can do. I got to live so they can see what God will do. I got to live so they can see the glory. How? How oh, y'all are sick. Gonna wait, and I'm not gonna just wait, but I'm gonna be of good courage. While I'm waiting on him to get here, I'm gonna be of good courage. I'm gonna be exalted in my spirit. And when I'm not where my heart is on the well with me in the here, leading me to the rock that is higher than I. Lead me, oh God. Hallelujah. I didn't 
say I was going to stay on the mountain, but every time I get in the valley, Lord, I need you to restore my soul. Because I'm waiting on you. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. The Bible said they shall fly upon wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. People worry about why you haven't fainted yet. Why you haven't given. Why you haven't given up. Why you didn't throw in the towel. Why you not just saying, poor me. Nobody knows what I'm going through. And just singing all of your woes. They wanted, they wanted. But you are waiting. That's why. You're waiting on him. And because you're waiting on him, you're getting strength day by day. You're able to soar like the eagle, even though the storm is raging. You're looking at the storm and said, all right, just take me higher. Just take me higher. I know that's why you're here. I know that's why you're here. That's not why the devil sent you, but that's why God had you here. He let you bring the storm to take me higher. Oh, my God. The eagle allows the storm to lift him above. Because he learned how to fly above the storm. It's not that the storm is not raging. It's still raging. But the eagle is above the storm. Hallelujah. He trusted the winds of the storm to take him higher. See, we have no understanding sometimes about our tests and our trial and our tribulation. We don't understand what they are designed to do. And so we began to fret about the storm. But God said, that is not why I let the storm come. I did not let the storm come to destroy you. I let the storm come so that you can go above it. And so I can show you how great I am. You have no need to fear a storm. Because you're waiting on me. Yeah. And I'm going to show up. And I'm going to show out. Yes. See, that's the God that we serve. Woo! See, if we never got in any type of situations, huh? people really wouldn't get to see how magnificent of a God we serve. Huh? Oh, my God, his glory wouldn't be able to shine out. Huh? But when they see with their own eyes, huh? they have to step back and say, I know that ain't nobody but God. Because they know it's impossible with you. Woo. He said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. I like this. Yeah. I like this right here. Not this that's pumping. He going to strengthen your mind. See, that's what the right. devil wants. Yeah. But when you wait on the Lord and you get that carriage. God begin to strengthen your mind huh, against the enemy. Huh? That's why we got to be transformed huh, by the renewing huh, of our mind. Huh? And while we're dealing with the test, huh, God said, why are you in the test? Huh? I'm dealing with your mind. Huh? I'm renewing your mind. Huh? I'm making your mind strong huh, against the adversities huh, that the devil is bringing. Huh? I'm putting the word huh, in your heart. Which is your mind, huh? and I'm telling you huh, to hide huh, the word of God huh, in your heart, huh, which is your mind, huh, that you may not huh, sin against the Lord. Huh. Your mind huh, will become stronger huh, when you learn huh, how to wait, huh, how to wait, huh, how to wait huh, on Him. Yes, Lord. My God, my God. Wait a minute, be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. And it goes back to say it one more time. Wait, I say, on the Lord. And I come to say it to you again. Wait, I say, on the Lord. You're going to be glad that you waited. You are going to be so glad. Do you hear me? Somebody said good things come to them that wait. And not only that, God has saved the best for that. Wait on him. Now, you're out there today. You're not saved. You have not been filled with the power of the tongue-talking Holy Spirit. You're not allowing God 
to have total reign in your life. And you might have said, well, I've been waiting for some kind of change, but it just seemed like the change is not going to come. I, I thought if I did this, that, that things would change, and that didn't work out for me. I, I thought if I switched jobs, that things would change, but that didn't work out for me. And, you know, I, I gave up one drug, and I went to another drug, and that didn't work out for me. And I went from one man to another man, and I thought that was going to work, but that didn't work out for me. And I, I got me another woman, and, and I thought that was going to work, but it did not work out for me. But I come to tell you, you need to wait on God. I, I'm telling you you need to wait on God because huh? God is the one that will see you through huh? and God is the one that will bring you out huh? God is the one that will deliver you huh? I say can't nobody do it like God can huh? amen it might seem like a cliche huh? but it is the truth huh? that can't nobody huh? do you like Jesus huh? I come to let you know huh? that he hung on Calvary's cross huh? amen to save you from your sin huh? and if you've been waiting for a change huh? your change can happen today because huh? God comes Ha, to deliver you. Ha. You can lift your hands to the Lord ha, and ask God right now ha, to give you deliverance. Because deliverance ha, is wherever you are. Ha, under the sound of my voice ha, as I speak the word ha, into your life. Ha. Oh, right now, ha, the chains are broken. Ha, right now, ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, you've been released ha, from the power of the adversary ha, that's had control ha, over your body, ha, over your mind. Ha, the devil ha, has got to let you go ha, right now ha, in Jesus' name. Ha, oh, right now, ha, surrender ha, that God might fill you ha, with that Holy Ghost power. Ha, receive it ha, in the name of Jesus. Ha, open up your mouth. Ha, open up your mouth. Ha, open up your mouth. Ha, open up your mouth ha, and receive ha, the Holy Ghost. Ha, receive ha, the power. Ha, receive. Ha, receive. Your deliverance, huh? In Jesus' name, receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You feel them right now. Hallelujah. Right now, you're shaking. That's the power of God on you right now. Right now, there's nothing but the power of God, huh? Destroying those yoke, huh? There's the power of God, huh? That's resonating through your body, huh? Through your being right now, huh? That's the power, huh? Of God! Hallelujah. Oh, glory. 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 Somebody that's been discouraged. God is giving you the word today that you might be encouraged to keep waiting. He was just about to throw up the towel, to give up everything, to walk away. Your blessing is right around the corner. It's right around the corner and that's why the devil has been pressing you so hard. Pressing you harder than ever before to give up right now. He's been pressing you to give up right now. And you was about to give in. But this is not the time to give in. Because God is getting ready to do it. Yes. You've been waiting and he's getting ready to do it. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our praise and worship team is about to come back before you. And song. Hallelujah. We just bless his holy name because he's great and there truly is none like him. You're not going to find anybody like the Lord. There is no match. There is no equal. He has no equal. No one is on his level. Can't nobody do what he can do for you. Stop looking to people to do it. They can't. Look to him because he can get it done. Not only can he get it done, but he will get it done. I said he'll get it done. Yes. Ha, shut up. Shut up. Hey, shut up. I'm asleep. Oh, I glorify you, Lord. I bless your name. Amen. And now that God has been a blessing to you, we're asking that you will also in, in turn be a blessing to the ministry that God has blessed you with on today. And go to Give the Fire. G I V E L I F Y. Amen. By now, they probably have it on the screen for you in the comments. Go to Give the Five. 
Amen. If you already downloaded it, amen. Go right there to Solid Rock Apostolic Faith Church. Put that on in there. Amen. And you will see a picture of me. And I actually have this very robe on. Amen. Except I also have that covering, I believe, on that picture. Amen. Just a different hairstyle, but it's me. Hallelujah. And click on that picture and give your donation, your offering, morning offering, whichever one you want to put it under. Amen. And be a blessing to this ministry. And God's going to continue to bless you. Now, you can listen as you can to our praise and worship team. And I'll be back for prayer.
mighty name of Jesus, we come before you. We thank you, oh God, for each listener. We thank you for each one that has been watching and have heard the voice of God through your vessel on today. We ask that you will send a blessing their way, send a healing their way, send a deliverance their way. Move in their families, in their situation, through the predicaments. Help them, Lord. Let them acknowledge you in all their ways, Lord. Letting you direct their pathway. Give them strength. Empower them, oh God, to do thy will that your glory might be manifested in their lives. Oh God, shield and protect. In Jesus' name, we pray and we ask it. Amen. 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 God bless you. We love you. But God bless you guys.